The crib isn't your style, you say. It is now. Whoa. Welcome to hell, Luigi. And you'll play with this baby forever. <sighs> Not needed. Children are the worst. Wink. I forgot he winked. <laughs> That's how the baby lured Luigi here. Ah, with a wink. All right, I can't remember, really quick, I can't remember what this baby's pattern is. And the bosses are different from the other peon ghosts in that it doesn't matter how much health you suck off of them to begin with. The only thing that matters is how much health you have at the end. So if you like do this flawlessly and don't get hurt, then you get a gold painting. The more damage you take, the less likely you're, you are to get a good painting. So let's try not to get hit. I really forget this baby's pattern though. Okay, this all seems pretty Simon simple. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh, no, no, no. No, please. No, gosh. Not the bouncing balls. Oh, wait, you've given me the tool for your destruction, baby. Shut up with the rattle! Flashlight! Oh, we don't need the flashlight. We can just, uh, have a go. Whoa, the camera! Oh, my health! Come on, come on. Okay, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Not too bad. All right. <laughs> you sucked off part of my soul! I'm going to belly bounce on you. Not the belly bounce. No. Get away with your weird spermy tail. God, shut up. You know, I never played uh, Yoshi's Island, you know, with the really annoying Mario baby, but I feel like this is worse. You know, I know the other ones through the whole game, but this is just so violently like, eh, I'm going to murder you. You know, the other one's just kind of like, save me, please, in an annoying kind of like Ashley Graham from Resident Evil fucking no sort of way. Okay, we're still good. We're still fine. Can you please stop? Suck on that. Come on. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. Just had to hook him. Just gotta, just gotta hook the baby. Come on, always oh, a live one. Okay, okay, we're good. We didn't take any health, health damage, really. We should be good. Look at Luigi just standing there, like, yep, this is what I do. This is, uh, this is fine. Look at the psychedelic colors in the background too. Where are we? We're still, we're not in the same dimension of the mansion. This is a completely separate pocket dimension. This baby is confirmed like nigh omnipresent and nigh omnipotent. He's, uh, he can create and destroy little pocket universes. Oh, goodness. Alright, come on. I like all the ghosts just have, like, yellow, like, pupil kind of things. What's up? I'm being really annoying, so you want to hit me? <laughs> that's, what, that's what you're doing, isn't it? Otherwise, Luigi wouldn't hit babies. Oh, frick! How did I miss that? He was right in front of me. No! <laughs> Oh, goodness, come on. Wee. I wonder if anybody's ever gotten hit by those. I say awkwardly, as I'm probably going to get hit by one immediately. Mmm. I can see why the dad spent all his time reading and the mom... Oh, no! And the mom spent all the t her time in uh, her parlor doing her hair because you're so freaking annoying, baby! I'd want to get away from you, too. Come on, there we go. Jeez. Let's just finish this. Your soul is mine. I should say that for every ghost. There we go. Double victory. There we go. Perfect. Your soul is mine. Mario. Mario. <laughs> All right. Yep. Here's the ball. Ooh, that was fun. Do that again. Hold on. No, 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 no. Make that sound effect again. Come on. Yeah. Fuck this carriage! Fuck this carriage! Oh, uh, okay. Enough of this. If you look closely, it's just a picture. Ooh, big, big old baby key! Pick it up, Luigi. Go ahead, pick it up. But you can't do it, can you? You can't do it without my uh, consent. What does this say? Oh, if you had said not my style. <laughs> Come on. I'll just make him shuffle. <laughs> he wants to pick it up so bad. But no, you're trapped. You're trapped forever in my control, and we'll pick it up when I say that I want to pick it up. I want to pick it up. Ooh. Vom, 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 vom. Oh, getting that dang old spooky text message. Luigi, Chris, Chris. 
What's up? Luigi. Can you hear me? Oh, thank goodness you're okay. I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I was a tad worried. Hmm, don't you mean a toad worried? <laughs> uh, you seem a little bit tuckered out after that last long battle, don't you? Why don't you come back to the lab? Then we can vacuum... When you vacuum a boss ghost, your Poltergeist 3000 gets pretty much full to bursting. But ho-ho, I guess you showed that boss ghost who's boss. That I did. Yeah. So let's head on back. Good job, Luigi. You made it back in one piece. By the way, this is the process in which uh, living human souls are transformed into inanimate objects. Here we go. Take a gander at this. This uh, this fine piece of work took nearly 20 years to develop, but I call it the Ghost Portific... Por Portrificanizer. Really need to work on a better name. This machine lets us turn and turn the ghost into you catch into paintings. You know, I can I can I can come up with a better name right now. Not even taking 20 years. I'm just gonna call it the Soul Ink Machine. The Soul. The Soul. The Soul. No. The Ghost. Ghost Ink. Ink Painting Portrait. Ghost Portrait Machine. There. That's all you need to say. <laughs> Not only that, it works in reverse too. I like how he throws out that it works in reverse too. That'll be a big. Uh, that'll be a big plot point later. Hmm, how do we use it, you ask? Well, it's simple. You just plug that Poltergeist 3000. He loves saying that. You love saying that. You're trying to get that freaking branded so bad, aren't you? Into that slot and enjoy the ride, my boy. All right. Here we go. Pump in those 2.1 gigawatts or whatever. Here we go. There's the souls of that little family that we had. Put them through the washing machine. Ooh, that sounds painful. It goes ballistic. Then, just like that, put some on the, the canvas. The ghosts are invisible. I can relate. Crush them. Zap them. <laughs> broil them. Press them. And there we go. They turn into ghost portraits. I believe these are all gold also. Gold portraits. We'll look at them in a second. Nice. Hmm. Well, we managed to turn those... Uh, ghost back into paintings. Thanks for your help, Luigi. Yay, that's all the ghosts. Good job. Cotton Area 1. Neville, the man. Lydia. Chauncey. Nice. The little family. Fascinating. Doo -doo -doo -doo. This, this is such a funky beat. Luigi's Mansion's got some great tunes. Listen to that. That's sick. Duh. Duh. Okay, anyway. You've caught a total of three ghosts. Wow! There we go. Holy crap. That's a lot of money. Well, I mean, relatively speaking. That's probably not in dollars. That's probably in, like, Zimbabwe dollars. Uh, but apparently we have four million gold. <laughs> even if... Even if, like, the U.S. dollar is equivalent to, like... A hundred thousand of those. That we still have forty-five bucks. That's not too shabby. That's not too shabby for an afternoon's day of just sucking up ghosts. All right, forty-five million dollars, <laughs> or four four million dollars. Sorry, four million five hundred thousand fifty. Let me say the whole thing. Four million five hundred fifteen thousand. There you go. Where will you go now, Luigi? Home. I don't need to be here anymore. I can buy a new brother. <laughs> Literally. What am I going to use that money for? Why is there lightning still? Why are you waving goodbye like I'm never going to come back? I'm going to come back. Why is Luigi really scarily, like, or how do you say it? How, why is he so scared still about going into the mansion? You know Toad is just standing there with a happy grin on his face waiting to give you the save. There we go, there we go. I think we just saved, but fuck it, let's save again. We did. Look at, look at Toad. He's like, yay, I'm so happy to be part of this adventure. Oh, there's so many toads. So many toads, so little time. Anyway. Um, but yeah, the whole gold thing comes into play at the very end where like... Hold on, let's... Where's the map? Let's see. Do we go downstairs? Yes, we do. Uh, the whole, the whole uh, money thing comes into play at the end of the game where basically you're supposed to like... It's supposed to be kind of like how well you did in the game based on how much money you sucked up. Uh, it gives you like a ranking kind of, um, which I always thought was kind of meh, but I, I guess that's what you could say the money's being spent on. It's literally just being spent on this like final bonus thing that I'm not going to spoil, but it's really not even that big of a deal. So anyway, 
Here we go. That baby key is right here. Blow up. Oh no, it just does the, the little light thing and then it just disappears. Hmm, he goes. All right. Uh, why did we why do we need to use this key if you know the the thorns already like that's kind of putting like a double lock on it really interesting maybe maybe all these keys are exactly the same but they only get one use I don't know all right wait uh yeah okay we're in the right pot right pot da, 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 da. Yeah. now now wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute before we get into like the spookiness of all the ghosts stop it jeez okay here we go here's all the ghosts that we got so far. Um, oh, see to select. There's really not that many ghosts in this game, to be perfectly honest. This game isn't really that long. Um, I think there's a total of 23 ghosts total. A few of them are optional. Let's see, 3, 6, that's 6, 12, 18, 1, 2, 3. Oh, there's really only 21? I could have sworn there was 23. Anyway, um, so I mean, I mean, that's still like 20 people all in one mansion. That's, that's a lot, I guess. Uh, so let's see what his story is. Okay, so he's the bookish father, Neville Ned Flanders. Um, he died at 42. Neville spends his afterlife... Oh, I guess it is the afterlife. Okay. Uh, reading all the books he missed while living. All right. Well, uh, that's pretty much going to be a never-ending quest there because uh, books are still being written. Um, really, I, I, I don't know what your goal... I mean, I guess that's an admirable thing, you know. It's kind of like if I had died in my car accident that I had um, a while back. Um, I would, If I was a ghost, I'd probably want to catch up on all the stuff that I didn't end up, you know, watching. Uh, like, I still haven't seen... <laughs> what haven't I seen that I would, would have regretted? Um, I haven't seen... Um, fuck, I'm blanking, I'm blanking. Come on, big, important, big movie, big movie, big movie. Um, Nightmare on Elm Street 3. I haven't seen Nightmare on Elm Street 3. And I would have regretted that. Um, so I can relate to Neville. But 42 years, that's not, that's not too bad. You know, a lot of people seem to think that, uh, you know, you have to live to be at least 70 to have lived a good life. But honestly, I mean, I'm only 24 right now. And of course, I want to try to live as long as I possibly can. You know, within limits. I don't want to be like 102 and I don't even know where the fuck I am, but I'm still alive. You know what I mean? I don't want that kind of life. But, um... You know, 42 is a pretty good, pretty good amount of time. I mean, if you doubled my lifespan right now, and again, when you say, like, double my lifespan and all of that, I'd be 44, but I don't even really remember the first, like, five years, not very clearly anyway, so it's like, hey, I get another, like, 24 years of complete sentience before I die? That's pretty good. Um, so 42, at least in my mind, as a 24-year-old man, that's not that bad. Um, let's see. Okay. Oh, whoa! So many things happening all of a sudden. Uh, C stick select. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Stop! 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 Oh, the, they're so mean. Okay. What about her? This is the mirror gazing, mirror gazing mother Lydia. I actually saw a really good play with my sister uh, called Lydia. It was all about the Spanish American family. It was really intense. She died at 34 years old. She stashed her secret savings away to prepare for her long afterlife, taking the Egyptian sort of route to this whole thing. Interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure we robbed her. I'm pretty sure we took all of the money out of her cabinet or her little underwear drawer thing. We raided her panties and found money, um, just bricks of it. Um, and uh, you, yeah, yeah, you're not uh, you're not looking too financially stable now as a fucking painting. Um, <laughs> <laughs> stashed away her secret savings yeah 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 to prepare for her long afterlife so she she's having a long afterlife okay so it doesn't mean like an eternal afterlife it's just a long afterlife that's interesting I wonder if they fade away at, over time fast I, I'm looking way too far into this I know I'm perfectly aware that I'm looking way too far into this it's literally not even like okay I guess it's a full sentence but like that's all they get for a character bio <laughs> stop doing this Okay. What about the baby, Chauncey? The spoiled baby, one year old. Fuck. Died at one year old. He cries loudly and never sleeps through the night. But since he was born as a ghost, this seems now. Ah! Gotcha. Oh, I, I see how they get around it. Okay, Nintendo. Oh, wait, no. Oh, no. Mmm. 
Oh, oh. No, I'm sorry. I, I thought what they were implying there was that the mother and the father had sex as ghosts, and then the mother gave birth to this baby as a ghost. So it's like, oh, he was always a ghost. But maybe they're implying that this was a stillbirth. Born dead. Born a ghost. That's... Ooh. That's darker than I thought. I thought, oh, you know, just like a crib death, you know, something like that. But no. Died at birth. That's fucked up. I feel bad for, uh... Oh. I, ooh. Oh. Oof. Let's just move on and suck up some bats. Oh, and these guys are the most annoying fucking things in the whole world. Those, like, ceiling ghosts? Really annoying. Let's listen to them! They don't even have a heart. They don't even have life. They don't even understand life. They're literally they're just there to go blah, 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 in the most annoying fashion possible. 